Today's Mass Effect 3 modding video, I'm going to show you how to set up Mass Effect 3 Mod Manager. Uh, we're going to be using 5.0.2, as well as installing the single player controller support mod, the interface scaling add-on for it, and expanded galaxy mod, so we can kind of see how all of this stuff works together and how you can make them play nice. Um, if, you're not, if you don't want to use single player controller support and uh, you want to use an interface scaling mod instead, uh, just swap that out for single player controller support and everything else is pretty much the exact same. So what I have here is I have an unmodded Mass Effect 3 game installed from Origin. Um, I don't have any backups, I don't have anything. This is like a fresh install. I have Mass Effect 3 Mod Manager 5.0.2. This is the... Uh, I haven't extracted it yet. And I've downloaded the 7z files from Met Nexus Mods. Uh, do not extract these manually. Mod Manager will do it for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click this. It's going to open up my other monitor. So I'm going to move over here. So I'm going to put this in a folder called um, uh, Demo. It's going to extract it. It's on the other monitor. It always does this. It always puts it on the other monitor. So when it's done, it automatically opens up this. So we have ME3CMM. This is the main thing. Your mods will be going into mods. And data is where a lot of the working files are going to be. You're not going to really want to mess around in there too much. So we're just going to run ME3CMM. It's going to open on the other monitor. Alright, so the first thing it's going to do is it's going to download a bunch of little stuff. You're going to see some mods here. Up here you're going to have your bio game installation target. So we need to make sure that this is set. Um, this should automatically be detected in about 98% of cases. If this isn't set, you need to find the Mass Effect 3 directory and select the bio game. This button will be browsed and the text will be read. So what we're going to do here is we're going to import some mods and get it ready to go. So we're going to go to single player controller support and we're just going to drag this onto here. It's going to look through that 7z file and access it. It can take a little while because of how 7z files are compressed to solid archives. But um, in Mass Effect, or Mod Manager 5.2, this is much, okay, and then we'll just hit import. This is much more streamlined than it used to be in some of the old videos where you had to create a base game database and run some scripts and do all this other stuff. A lot of stuff has changed since that last video, so I wanted to make this video, which was more uh, up to date, I should say. All right, so that mod's been imported. So we're gonna import interface scaling mod. So I'll do the same thing. This is, sorry, this is an interface scaling mod add-on. I need to be specific that this is not interface scaling mod. These mod, SP control support and interface scaling mod are not directly compatible. All right, so they've been imported. We're gonna dump expanded galaxy mod on here. Um, expanded galaxy mod probably really only works on 64-bit windows. Um, I had some significant issues come up when I was running it on 32-bit for testing. So uh, make sure you make sure your uh, computer's up to date if you want to run mods. All right, so this is uh, scanning and importing. Um, we want to make sure our game is does not have any texture mods installed before we start this. Uh, texture mods always come after content mods. In my previous video, I misstated that you can install a lot after, or you can install mods after a lot, and they'll still work. Uh, a lot, a lot has changed, and that isn't really possible anymore with their new optimized method that they do. So make sure your game does not have texture mods. I mean, technically you can. But if stuff breaks, and it probably will, the first thing anyone that you talk to is going to say is, did you install mods after? And you're going to say yes. And they're going to tell you to uh, reinstall all that stuff. And you're just going to waste a lot of your time. So let's make sure before we get too far in this video that this game is essentially unmodded or maybe just has some DLC mods installed. So while this is going, we can see our mods here on the left. Um, it comes with three mods, two multiplayer ones, and then a single player and multiplayer one. You can see the mods are importing right here. There's actually not too much more to do here, actually. Alright, and our mod's been imported. Alright, so we have Expanded Galaxy Mod, Interface Scaling Add-on, and Single Player Controller Support. Um, single Player Controller Support and Expanded Galaxy Mod automatically can configure based on what's installed. So typically, you want to install these after all other mods. Where it says this mod has been configured automatically for your game's current configuration. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to install the add-on here. We'll run and install. I'm going to install Galaxy Mod next. Um, 
technically this doesn't really matter. Single player controller support I typically install as the last DLC mod because uh, it checks this, it does compatibility checks for a few mods like Citadel Epilogue mod if it's installed. So we're gonna do apply mod here as well. Well actually before we do that let's take a look. We can right click the mod and we can see four alternate installation options. If for some reason you're one of the people that really hates the a single player SP controller support text you can turn that off by selecting this before you install it or if you want to turn off aim assist you can also choose it in the variant options but we're just gonna install it like normal this dialog shows up on the wrong screen this has not been backed up back it up now yes backed up it's installed and technically we're ready to play but these mods are not ready to play together it's the way single player controller support works it's gonna be overriding files Expand a galaxy mod and interface scaling mod will do the same thing. So what we want to go is we want to go to mod management and do custom DLC conflict detector. It'll scan through all these files and figure out what needs to be updated. All right, so we need to update 15 files. So we'll hit this button here. It'll tell you about uh, how this works. We'll hit yes, and then we'll name this like EGMSP compat, something like that. Press enter. It'll do a couple of things while it generates mod. This is uh, actually a very advanced process that took many months to develop uh, to make these all work together nicely. But I think it's uh, like 90% stable. So uh, we hit OK here. And then we just apply that mod too. Okay, so everything should be good. So if you want to see what's installed, go to Restore and then do Custom DLC Manager. And we can see that Single Player Controller supports installed, Expanded Galaxy mod, the Interface Scaling add-on, as well as the Compatibility mod. And you can see how these all work together. And then you just hit Start Game. And that's how it works. Now, say you want to, like, you know, stop using Single Player Controller Support mod or, I don't know, get rid of it. The first, only thing you're going to have to do is go to Restore and then do... Custom DLC Manager, you just nuke, uh, see compatibility, single player control support mod, and the add on. And then we can just do uh, restore, we can just do custom restore. We just restore our test patch, so now it's original. And then we restore four base game files. And just like that, we've uninstalled it. If we wanted to uninstall uh, EGM as well, we can just go back to this and just nuke these two. Boom back to an unmodded state just like that that's really all there is to it it's really easy if you install a bunch of extra mods after you've already installed your compatibility pack just go into custom DLC manager and nuke it generate a new one and install it again and that way your mods should play nicer together with UI files this won't fix like actual conflicts and that's all there is to it happy modding